Every year during the month of March, we honor women's contributions to American history. Tonight, we're highlighting Anna Bissell, who proved to be a successful businesswoman in an era that was almost wholly a masculine field. Our Darren Bauer spoke with her family about the legacy she left behind. I'm standing here behind DeVos Place in downtown Grand Rapids. If I were here 100 years ago, I'd be in the middle of this lady's factory. Her name is Anna Bissell, and in 1889, she became the CEO of the Bissell Carpet Sweeper Company, making her the first female in the country to hold that position. Anna Bissell is my great-great-grandmother. She co-founded the company with my great-great-grandfather in 1876. Melville Bissell was his name. He invented the carpet sweeper for one reason, to help his wife Anna clean the family's crockery store. He realized there was a market for it, so he and Anna traveled around first West Michigan, then around the United States, selling the products door to door. Melville's invention was a hit. In a matter of few years, it literally swept the world then tragedy. Shortly thereafter, Melville passed away and Anna took over the company and became America's first female CEO. The mother of five now had to balance taking care of her family while running and growing her company. Pretty daunting when you think about it, being anyone in any position but having that many kids and trying to have a full-time job. I don't really know how she managed it, but in, on top of being very involved in the family and the business, she was also involved in the community. Anna enjoyed helping people improve their lives. She started the Bissell House, which was a recreation and training program for immigrant youth and women. She was very dedicated to helping women in the community as well, um, largely immigrant populations, making sure they got settled in, in West Michigan. She, she was also um, connected with United Way, who we're still in connection with, so she was involved in United Way, really recognized that it was her mission um, as a leader within the community to make sure we were giving back and supporting people within the community. This is a, um, Lily May, but she, they called her Métis. Ruth Van Stee, a local history expert, says Anna being a Methodist was a big influence on her life. This is what they did. They raised, they tried to raise everybody's, the level of everybody and then the whole society benefits. Anna, known for her social causes and some of her workplace policies were unheard of at the turn of the century. She was ahead of her time in how to run a business. She was, um, she instituted a pension plan for her employees and workman's compensation plan. So. They were very loyal to her. When Bissell built their first manufacturing site, which was down in the Grand River, they, the site actually burned down. So the employees were so invested in the company that they took the product home and started making other houses to keep the company afloat. So I think that's a testament to the connection that she was able to create with her employees and the things that they were willing to do to make sure that Bissell survived. Max says it took a lot of strength for Anna to balance everything and persevere. Not only you know, running a company without a lot of formal training, but you know, being a woman during a time where that was not common at all, raising a family, but also being a young, a young woman doing it. She was strong, she was smart. They always, her, her daughter and family members would always say something about her. And her chin, a strong chin, as if that was, you know, <laughs> something important. But uh, that was just her personality too, I guess, that she just was a take charge person. Anna Bissell built just like her products, self-powered, durable. Anna Bissell had an incredible legacy. She was very, very forward thinking for anyone during that time period. With more than enough steam to power through anything. The core values that she put in place, we still live by today. And we really give her credit for building this company to, to what it is. Bissell is still right here in West Michigan with a factory and headquarters in Walker. Keeping with Anna's legacy, Bissell remains involved with many charities and founded the Bissell Pet Foundation. In Grand Rapids, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.